John F. Kennedy this week. It's been 50 years since his assassination and just days before he was shot in Dallas. President Kennedy was right here in Tampa. Uh, Tony Zapponi joins me now. And Tony, at that time, you were an aspiring journalist and you were there while he was in Tampa and you managed to capture some amazing pictures. But let's start at the beginning here in that you're only 16 years old. How does this come about? Just turned 16. Well, I had been taking uh, sports pictures and freelance pictures for the Tribune for a couple of years at that time. And, but you're uh, still in high school at this oh, time. Oh, yeah, I was in the 11th grade of school. I started young, and uh, I loved President Kennedy. And there was a little article on the paper, almost obscure, that he was going to be in town five days later. So you applied for credentials, right? Applied for credentials at the Chamber of Commerce, turned me down. They said I needed to be representing somebody. So I ran to my school and uh, got a letter from the faculty sponsor of the yearbook, came back, and they sort of reluctantly gave me the pass. Let's take a look at some of these pictures now and talk about this. Where is he here? Uh, he had just arrived. Uh, that Senator Smathers directly behind him. Now, that actually was at the conclusion. Those are the motorcycle officers that protected him. Uh, this is at Al Lopez Field. and. Right next to us here. Right, you yeah. can't see me, but <laughs> okay, that at the International Inn where uh, Marcelo Macedo, the alcalde, presented him with, with uh, cigars, and his daughter presented him with a, a Latin uh, uh, doll. It, it's amazing pictures to see, and you have a, do you have a collection of these, a book coming out with these pictures? Uh, what's going on? I have a book coming out uh, in, uh, actually, next week, and it can be found at www.jfktampa.com. Very historic, all of these, in that, you know, from here he went to Miami, back to Washington, then on to Dallas. Do you remember where you were that day when he was shot and killed? Was at uh, journalism class at Jefferson High School, the old Jefferson, and uh, somebody came to the door, the teacher went to the door, came back and said the president had been shot. And everybody went numb. I mean, it was just a disbelief, but at that time we, we didn't know he was, would be dead. So you didn't uh, think he was dead at that time? No. But they let everybody out of class. I ran to uh, a couple of blocks to the, the, uh, a bus. I didn't have a car. Got on the bus, and uh, there was somebody with a radio on the bus, and, and it was getting worse, and it was looking pretty bad, and got off at the edge of town. Downtown was deserted. There weren't five or six people in the streets. Wow. I saw maybe three or four cars. It, 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 the word spread that fast, as fast as Twitter, and Facebook, it was out there. And uh, it just was a very, very grim, sad time for Absolutely. Us. You know, if you want to touch a piece of history and you want a piece of history, pick up your book when it comes out. Tony Saponi, thank you very much for being well, here. Thank you very much.